Hello and welcome ladies and gentlemen. My name is Juggernaut and I'm here to show you that Call of Duty Mobile on PC is actually insane. Right, so Call of Duty Mobile on PC you say? Well, yes, there's this thing called emulators and people have been using them for, you know, years and years now to play console games and stuff like that on their, well, PCs mostly. I don't think there's a vice versa emulator for, for consoles. I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist. Then again, I don't own a console. Uh, I used to, but I don't anymore. So yeah, anyways, I used to own a PS1, I think. Anyways, completely off track. Uh, point being, Call of Duty Mobile, uh, not a very, you know, happy name for the circumstances, but, you know, that's what it's called, on PC is kind of mental. And I'm going to show you why. Now, here's the thing. All you need to do to play Call of Duty on PC right now is simply download an emulator. I'm using BlueStacks. You can use a different one if you'd like. I do recommend BlueStacks, though. It's pretty nice. Performance is great. And, uh, yeah, so... You can play it like... A PC Call of Duty game. You see the problem? You're going to be facing off against people on mobile phones, probably on their toilets or in public transportation or stuff like that. You see the issue there. Yeah. I think the best way to show you what I mean is just to do it. And there we go. Yeah. And where is the enemy precisely? Oh, is this a no respawns thing? Oh, that's even worse. Right, let's go hunting then. There you go, mate. That's it. That's how we, uh... That, that's what we do. It's fairly insane, isn't it? Problem being, the people that you're playing against, once again, have, um... Well, they have just two fingers, realistically, to use, and a tiny little screen. You, on the other hand, have the liberty of... Oh, God, I'm not even paying attention, am I? Ah. Uh, ah, well. Doesn't matter. We'll, we'll give him a fighting chance, at the very least, eh? Um, actually, someone on the enemy team might be using PC as well. Thing is, this game has a massive player base. Like, this game has a bigger player base than probably all of the Call of Duties put together right now. I think something around 30 million people, day one. Ab just absolutely insane. Just, just like, actually, actually insane. Um, and all of those, well, not all of those, but the vast majority of those 30 million people have no idea what they're doing and or have a slight issue in controlling their character in that they can't really aim. I mean, the way they aim is by sliding their fingers to the left or to the right. Meanwhile, you have a full keyboard, a mouse, and a, you know, in most most circumstances, a decent one at that. The, yeah. <sighs> they don't stand a chance. They really don't. I mean, it's it's kind of silly, but yeah, there you go. Do I feel bad about doing this? Yes, yes I do, because I'm ruining the gaming experiences of other people. Do I intend to continue doing it? Not really, not really, but it is also there to sort of illustrate a point. This game's owned by Tencent. What do you think the chances are of them fixing this? You know, banning emulators and, and stuff like that? None whatsoever, mate. 
none whatsoever. And you know why? Well, or simulator players, I say or simulator players, like I'm going to continue playing this for, you know, years upon years, um, and not just do like a one-off video of this, but, um, sure, us emulator players make the money as well, and a fair bit of money too, I imagine. Um, I mean, microtransactions work the same, there is nothing illegal about this, I just want to point that out, make it very crystal clear. There is nothing illegal about using an emulator to play an Android game on your PC. You can you you can you can pay for games, you can buy games legally, you can do all sort all those things. No problem. There is nothing wrong with me doing this. Well, I mean there's all sorts of things wrong, but there is nothing illegal with me doing this. And that's a big problem for the game. Um if you have one of the, if you have an emulator player on your team, that's pretty much it. You know, you've you've won. If the enemy team has an emulator player, you pray to the almighty Chinese overlord that you know the same player jumps on your team as well, or the or you know the an equivalent player jumps on your team as well, or you've lost. That's it. That's all the balance behind the game. Um, but. The game is selling stuff that could be considered power. You know, you can buy upgrades, you can buy weapons for real-life currency. Or you can download a free emulator and just kill everyone with the starting pistol. Um, matter of fact, I think I'm going to make a point of it. Let's try and kill everyone with a pistol. What do you think? And there we go. That was an ace. Okay, I can properly show you everything now because I changed the avatar picture and, and the username and everything. So, um, as you can see, there's this lucky draw thing and there's been a host of drama about this because um, it shows you that you can get the skin and the AK on first spin. You can't. You really can't. I mean, this this... The way this is sort of worded is you click this, there's a percentage chance of you getting any of these. No, it's not. You're always going to get the top ones and the bottom ones first. And after you get all of these, only then can you get one of these two. Um, yeah. There you go. It's... Weird, but hey. Um, yeah, you can also buy stuff. You can... Uh... There is, yeah, there's like daily tasks that you can do. Increase your tier for God knows what reason. There's a premium pass thing you can buy which unlocks like weapons and items and stuff like that. Yeah, skins and, and stuff like that. Mostly cosmetics. Here's the thing. The game's actually pretty good. Um, the gameplay's solid. Performance is, well, I'm running on my PC, I don't know. Um, but the gameplay's pretty solid on mobile and, well, this doesn't count, but, you know, on the actual phone and, you know, when you're playing it the way it's meant to be played. Performance is actually, you know, okay as well there, because I've tested it out on mobile. Um, and you can buy power to some extent. But, I mean, I've played one game with the MW11. Mind you, I did murder the entire team with it and aced it, but, you know, never mind that, right? Um, the, yeah, I mean, you know, I've, I've, locked, I've unlocked the silencer for it, and you can also grab, like, what's this, and a rocket launcher and stuff like that. There's all sorts of things you can do. There's two game modes. Microtransactions aren't really that insane. Like, there's no limit to the amount of games you can play a day. The store is, like I said, mostly cosmetics. Um, and in these crates, you get, like, yeah, again, characters, which is skins. I think some of these characters have, um... Actually, it doesn't work like that. Let's see. Go to loadout. 
And are these just skins, or do they... Like, if I change the way I look here, is it... No, yeah, these are just skins. So, yeah, like, it's mostly cosmetics. Some stuff you can buy here and there, but, you know, it's not really all that relevant. The game's pretty solid. I mean, comparing this to a full Call of Duty game... I mean, it, 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 yeah, it, considering that it's on mobile, and that it's free to play, yeah, this is like this is solid. Um, and I've been, you know, I've been, I've been sort of critical of of Tencent, and I will continue to be so for ever, pretty much. But you know, that they they do make solid mobile stuff. My problem is when they start interfering with PC games, and you know. Triple A titles and stuff like that, then, you know, there, there's... When they implement stuff like this in Triple A titles, then we have a problem, but... And also, I mean, look at this matchmaker. Level 69 versus level 13. It's just, it's just, actually, this one isn't even that bad. We're sort of mostly, roughly in the same general area of, of, uh, of levels, but... I had games where, like, hard, the one team was all level 60s and the other team was all level 10, 15 babies, and, yeah. Uh, all of, uh, three of these playing in, on emulators, I hope not. Good God, I hope not. Defend the objective. They have the bomb. Oh, they might, I don't know. Maybe they're just really... Crap. All right. Now it, we might actually need to focus a tiny little bit. Yeah. You'll notice that if a player go uh, moves his head up or down, that that player is probably not on the. Uh... Ooh, I think that, yeah, this is actually a good idea to show you how controls look like for them. There you go. Yeah. This poor guy needs to scroll his his phone to the left and to the right to do stuff, and aiming is yeah, aiming's not easy. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't be laughing, but you're playing against this. It's like playing against bots on the easiest difficulty, and I say that as we lose. But you know, I lost to my equal, so I guess I'm. I'm uh, getting a taste of my own medicine, if you will, but, you know, it's... <sighs> eh. It's what you expect, more or less. Um, the emulator giveth and the emulator taketh away. Cover me. Reloading. Oh, crap. Enemy in sight! There we go. All right, a little bit of radio silence, a little bit of focus, and we can do it. It's it's not it's not difficult. We can club the seals. Um, yeah, there you go. I mean, there's there's really I don't know I don't have much to say other than this really. Enemy contact. Tango down. Reloading. Poor guy. Didn't even see him. Didn't even see him and I... He still couldn't do much. <sighs> alas, alack. Such is life. And you know what? Here's the, here's the beauty of it as well. There's like this is a, a sort of little... If this wasn't enough, there's more. Um, if you do end up running into people that play this on emulator they're probably i mean 
considering the player base of mobile games in general, it basically means that those players aren't necessarily going to be the best and the brightest. It's just the way it is. This attracts a more casual audience. I say that as the aim is completely off there on the... on the attempt. I oh, we need to defuse this, mate. Oh, and by the way, you can knife him with one button. Oh, will I get it on time? Will I get it on time? Yes. Yes, I will. Now. <sighs> like I said, they're not going to be the best, probably, at, at FPS games, due to the, the sort of caliber of player this attracts. Also, they're probably not going to have the best PCs. I've noticed I've, I've had, like, advantages, hardware advantages, and considerable ones at that against people that, that, are, that play on emulator as well. Um, and that, yeah, it sucks for them, but... Reloading. You want to plant it? Yeah, I don't recommend it. Huh, well this is interesting, they've... They've scattered so much, I'm not sure what the... Where I'm supposed to go. I think this is all on a timer. Oh. Oh, no, 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 don't, don't find him, don't find him. Yeah, there you go, see? Don't worry. There we go. Alternative title for this video. Young adult. Hmm, let's think of one. Like, young adult deals with... No, let's say gets revenge for all the time he was killed in Call of Duty when he was a teenager. And it's disgusting. Because you need like a like a clickbaity bit like that. Oh, we can get a hunter killer drone as well in this game mode? Meh. Nah. What I would like to see though, a few more um kill streak. Or it's not it's a point streak now. It used to be kill streaks. See that's that's how old I am. I remember when it was kill streaks. Um, which is relatively not that old, but yeah. Point being, um, yeah. Uh, where am I going with this? Yeah, point being, um... What the hell was the point of, of me saying that? Yeah, um, I would like to see more, some, some more, uh, killstreaks. You do unlock them as you play. But... I would still like to see a few more. There's like the attack helicopter, there's a care package, there's a few like that, but mostly it's... Oh, really? You can't move when you're doing that, alright. Like, at all. Is this fun? Not really. Um, but in TDM, you can almost, you know, kind of see how it might be entertaining. Um, also, why did it show... Why did it not show the guy in front? Because oh, it wants me to have, like, a better view of what I did. What I did. Alright. Cool. Cool, I guess. Um, okay, there you go. Now, is there anything special that you need to do to set this up with all the controls and stuff like that? No. No, the emulator does it for you. I mean, you don't even have to do that. Let's just look at the score. And I think that we're just gonna leave it off with this and screenshot that and, and yeah. Well, I've ruined enough people's day. Um, 
I'm gonna I'm gonna leave now and uh, that's about it. Anyways, if you wanna try it? Knock yourselves out. Emulate is called Blue Stacks, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next game, one that's hopefully more challenging and less toxic to the gaming community in general. Until then, have fun, take care, and bye bye.